Hey, it's Lynn Brown. I'm a speaker, trainer, and coach with the John Maxwell team. And I spent the first half of my life people-pleasing. And then in my spare time, I was trapped by the opinions of others. But one day, I drew a line in the sand, and I decided to bet on me for the first time in my life. And y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. When I took that first step in the direction of my dream, things began to change in my life. When I changed the way I looked at things, the things I looked at changed. And I have committed my life to becoming the best version of me. And also, I've committed my life to working with people who want to do the same. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about the gut check. I mean, it's the fourth quarter. I mean, it's speeding on by. And how do you want to finish 2019? I mean, basically, we have 61-ish days left. In 2019 and I can't tell you how many years about this time I would I would truly convince myself that it was just too late to accomplish any big goals and it's this time of year that we start using that holiday season as the reason to simply coast the year on out about this time every year I just decide to ride it on out after all January 1st was coming so the question is, really, why, why wait for the calendar year to flip to begin again? To maybe focus on your health, write the first page in your book, or increase your income. And it's funny because I did think back to some years in a direct selling company that I had, I had quite a bit of success. And it was in the month of December that I won almost every one of the cars that I earned in that company, which the total was seven, seven cars. I mean, it's the busiest time of the year, November, December. Everybody says it's the busiest time of year, but guess what? Busy, or I like to say productive people, get things done. It's not going to happen sitting on the sofa, scrolling through Insta, on Snapchat, whatever. Gritty women don't quit. So now think about this. What sounds better? We drift on through the end of the year, pack on a few more holiday pounds, delay your dreams one more time until a more perfect time, or we do something we've maybe never done before. We take this last 60 days and just absolutely set your soul on fire with results. I think it's always so interesting because really the only time people ever really complain about being sick or tired is, is when they're broke, busted, and disgusted. You can set yourself up for just like an explosive start in 2020 if you will take a step. I mean, if you need a reset, today's the day to do it. I'm glad you tuned in. And if you're still listening, I want you to write this down. Good things are supposed to happen to me. Let's write that down. Good things are supposed to happen to me. And you know what? If you say that enough, you'll begin to believe it. But that's okay. Because right now, some of you are like, you know what, I can say that, but I don't believe it. And trust me, I have been there. Five years ago, (laughs) I had to borrow the belief to invest in myself, to join this team, and to begin to grow. I had to borrow the belief. Now I have my own. So now I want to just give it away to anyone that wants it. (laughs) You got to watch what you say and what you think. I mean, what we're thinking about is 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 critical. For example, I've heard some some people recently just say, "You know, I'm broke. I'm just plain broke," <laughs> meaning they they don't have any money. <laughs> Instead of saying that, say, "I'm improving my cash flow." Doesn't that sound better? You know, maybe I'm not in my skinny jeans yet. Where your mind goes, your energy flows. And y'all, it's not your circumstance. It's not your past mistakes. Where you went to school or college. And if you did neither of those things, today's a new day. And it's it's more than wishing and hoping. You know, uh, my mentor John Maxwell says hope isn't a strategy. And really it's not. Begging God to change your life. I mean, you got to take action. I mean, yes, we can... we can pray and seek guidance, but but we do have to get up. We have to get up and take the step. 
We have to expect the good no matter what the results are now. Do you really, really expect to be successful? I think most people say they want to. They want to, they want to be successful. They want to do more, be more, and have more. But what you want is going to show up in your conversation. And what you expect shows up in your action. I mean, what are you willing to do? Are you willing to be uncomfortable? Are you willing to just go out and make a mess? To get, to get nervous and feel like you're going to throw up? To walk into an office or knock on a door or make a phone call or put your art in an exhibit somewhere or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what your thing is. Walk into a gym, go work out, throw the brownies out of the pantry. I'm not sure what you have to do today. But honestly, and, you know, I, I am a believer in, in one, of, one of the verses I love is, you know, you shall know the tree by its fruit. And results don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Data does not lie. Just like pictures don't lie and the scale doesn't lie. <laughs> now, children, leggings, and drunks do lie. But results don't lie. So my behavior, honestly, y'all, how I live each day, becoming better. I mean, I had to leave the comfort zone. I'm, I'm living an uncomfortable life. <laughs> That's a good thing, by the way. But what could you do today to move you in the direction of your dream? Like, What is one thing that you could do today to move you in the direction of your dream? And after the, you know, the podcast today, maybe you could just get out some paper and a pencil. There's nothing better than just a good old-fashioned pencil and, and paper. Draw a line down the center and talk about, you know, just have a real conversation with yourself, a truthful one. Write down where you are and where you want to be. December 31st, 2019, in 61 days. Where do you want to be? What you do in these next 61 days will determine how your new year launches. One thing, just one thing, just one step, not a hundred you don't have to see the whole staircase. Just have enough faith to take the first step. It's so much more than, than about us. It, it truly is. And I think when, when I wrap my mind around that, that honestly, me becoming the best version of me is really not only for me, but it's for my family. It's for my community. It's for the state, the nation, and the world. Somebody is waiting on you to become your best because they need to hear your story. You being brave, me making a fool of myself and doing an Instagram live for the first time months and months ago, and it was sideways, but I got a message from somebody that said it was just what they needed to hear that day. So we have to, honestly, we have to get over ourselves. We have to suspend the, the need to be right and to be perfect and to know exactly how it's going to be and what the end result is going to be. Nobody knows that. I mean, if you had told me 10 years ago that I would be a part of the fastest growing coaching company in the world and that I would tr be training internationally, I would have said, that is a, that is a crock. <laughs> I was like, you are lying. You know, but when I took that step and I invested that money and joined this team, I had no idea what was going to come. And I still don't know. But every day is exciting. Because every day I'm living my best life. So a quick gut, gut check on your mindset. You know, I, I found in my life, I don't know if you're like me, but oftentimes it's in the darkest times that we create the toughest mindset. I mean, think back. The times that you went through some of the the toughest things, when the furnace, the fires were hot, the water was deep, you were in way over your head. It was those times that our mindset became the toughest. And you can use those, those times in your life. You can go back and harvest the good and, and use them as learning models of achievement. Those are times that you met with success in uncommon hours. And you can, tr you can actually use those now. It's going to take sacrifice. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to take a sacrifice of your time, your money, and your family. Right now, I'm finishing a big project. 
and the deadline is December 31st. I'll be publishing my first book. It takes sacrifice. This morning, I was up at 4 o'clock. You don't have to get up at 4 o'clock. I'm not saying that. But I'm just telling you that in order for me to meet this deadline, that's what it's going to take for me to do it. You have to carve out the time. It might take an investment of money. I cannot tell you what I've invested over the last five years. But I can also tell you that investment has come back into my life multiple, multiple times. You're going to have to create time for this. There's never going to be time for it in your schedule. Right now, if I ask you, if I said, hey, look at your schedule, look at, look at you know, November, you know, the 12th, and, and what are you doing? You know, can you join us on the, our Think and Grow Gritty Mindset Makeovers, our 90-day program? And you'd be like, oh, I don't have time in my schedule. You're right. You're exactly right. You're not going to have time for it. You're going to have to create the time for it. It's going to have to be a sacrifice. If you really want to live a life of significance, the time is now. Not January 1st. It's now. I want you to join me in this this last um, 60 days of grit. I have designed a program that that everybody can reach. I've kept the price super, super low. It's a killer offer. As one of my mentors, Paul Martinelli, always says, this is a killer offer at a level everyone can hit. It's 49 for a 90-day grit, growth, and gratitude program to catapult your mindset into 2020. It's going to set you apart from the pack. I know it will. I mean, if we do things for 21 days, we create a habit. But after 90 days, it can change your life. So I, I'm I'm just asking you, greedy women, to, to join us in this movement. Your answers for everything you need in your life are within you. Trust me, it's not me. I'm not here to give advice. I'm not here to tell you what you need to do. But you can develop and mold a champion mindset. It doesn't matter if you're the CEO of your company, if you're a custodian, if if you're a teacher, if if you have a job, don't have a job, need a job, don't want a job, you can change your life. Don't let other people confront you with their limiting beliefs and fears. Not today. I'm telling you right now, if I'd listened to a lot of people in my path, I wouldn't even be on this podcast today. I'd be back, you know, at another in another position, but I took a chance and I bet on me and you can too. The only reason my life has changed, my mindset has changed, and I've broken through limiting beliefs is because I bet on myself. My belief changed because my mindset changed. I broke through the limiting beliefs by taking action. All the info for the 90 Days to Grit will be posted on my website, so you can go to my website. It's www.lynnbrown.net. That's L-Y-N-N-E-B-R-O-W-N dot net. It's not dot com. It's dot net. Register your name, and I'll be sending you the details. And you can also go ahead and, and register for the Grit, Growth, and Gratitude program. There'll be a link right there that you can pay for it online and register, and then I'll send you all the info. Y'all, it's time to get gritty. Remember, G is for gratitude, daily gratitude. R is for resilience. When we fall down, we're going to grit up again and again and again. I is for inspire. Inspire yourself so you can inspire others. T is think for yourself. The other T in gritty is to be tough. This is not for wimps. And why is be you. Just be you. So until next time, remember, gritty is the new pretty. And I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.